Today in Auburndale, I was able to catch nice bus in the act. I got to where my workplace was around 10.30 this morning. I uh, had a half hour to kill because I really wasn't supposed to clock in until 11 o'clock. But I got there early and for a reason and for a purpose. I caught nice bus not performing its service today. Prompt, reliable, wasn't there in Auburndale to help people get over to Great Neck. As you can clearly see, this was supposed to be the 1030 bus that went eastbound into Great Neck. Instead, the bus was running late. And it was probably because my theory was the driver was lollygagging. And same thing going on with Queens Village Bus Depot lately. I noticed the drivers at Long Island Jewish. They're in their buses and they're playing with their phones, which they're not supposed to. They're supposed to be on the route, helping people get to point A to point B. And probably the same thing happened with Nice Bus. And this is the plague that's going into Queens. And this is what happens when you have a private operator take over an entire bus system. From what I'm also thinking, this could have been a breakdown. And that's what happens, and I'm going to quote Pine Power. This is what no maintenance gets you. So, why am I even rambling and even showing this screenshot I took today? Let's go to the proper edited clip. Good morning. I'm coming to you from Auburndale. Today is April 23rd, 2018. We are having a problem today with nice bus here in this area. The N20G is running late. It was supposed to leave Flushing at around, let me make sure I'm crossing safely, 10.15. I just checked the transit app and we are having problems with this bus. Here's the ironic thing. I just saw the N20F go right to Flushing. So I'm going to show you in a couple seconds with the uh, transit app and show you how, how ironic it is that the Q12 and the Q13 get better service thanks to Casey Steingel. And how on this nice beautiful day, my theory is that the bus probably broke down. It had to. If it didn't, I don't know. Here's the situation we're facing right now here on Northern Boulevard. Uh, as I was saying, as I was pulling in I, uh, to work, I was checking the transit app and uh, nice bus is having a problem today. Uh, this bus was supposed to be flushing around 10.15. It's supposed to... Honestly, it should have been here around 10.30. And you know what the problem is? It's, it's probably the traffic in flushing. Especially the area when you leave flushing. Or it could be this bus broke down. And here's the ironic thing as I'm recording. Another Q12 bus just came by. See, I, I, I was going to make this point. Why does Casey Stangle maintain their buses and yet Queens Village can't anymore? Yeah, and here's the ironic thing. The Q12, the Little Neck just got here. So there's more blatancy right here that nice bus is having a problem. And you heard it in the background, good. I, I hope you heard it because this is the uh, example of what we have to deal with over it with nice bus lately. Here's the thing with nice bus. This bus was supposed to be here, Northern and Francis, at 10.30. 10.30. And here's the ironic thing. This bus is now... How many minutes late? Exactly 11 minutes late. And they're claiming this bus... I, I, again, this is what happens when you have uh, less maintenance costs for, for Nassau County. This is the exact... Thing. This app right here proves the blatancy of Nice Bus. And meanwhile, get this the Q13 to Flushing is pulling up. The Q13 to Flushing is pulling up. Well, people who want to get to Long Island and they want to get to Great Neck, well, guess what? They got screwed. All thanks to the previous county executive, Ed Mangano. For, for what he's done to people, he better go to jail. He better go to... Yep, here comes the 13. See, a lot of these uh, newer model buses, that they're, they're basically getting rid of the uh, Orion 7. 
Yeah, I have not seen one. I've only seen one Orion 7 today, and that was back in Fresh Meadows. So, uh, 10 minutes, eh? 10 minutes this bus is supposed to be here. So, 10 minutes. I'm going to assume that this bus is coming at 10.53 when this bus was supposed to be here going to Bell Boulevard around 10.37. And I'm sure the people on Bell Boulevard, they're wondering, well, where, where's the N20? Where's the N20 to Great Neck? Well, again, it proves my point. When you don't put funding into a bus system, this is exactly the chaos that comes with it. So now I'm only here today to record what's going on because again I have to be at work at around 11 o'clock so 10 minutes I mean I'll definitely be able to clock in at 11 o'clock but again this is what I am talking about. Uh, my point was was that you cut funding you get third world service alright and with nice bus lately that's what you get. So now, people who need to get to Great Neck, they're getting screwed because now they figured, well, we want to save money by taking Nice Bus instead of taking the Long Island Railroad. Well, it didn't pay off, that's for sure. Oh, it's uh, 10:45. Uh, I'll come back uh, when this bus even shows up. I want to go over by. Uh, Francis Lewis can get a good angle over there when the uh, N20 even pulls up because again, this bus was supposed to be here at 10.30, 10.30, and it's now 15 minutes late. There are supposed to be two buses on the route going to Great Neck right now. Instead over here, you got this bus uh, going to Flushing right now, and there's a red light. So we're going to be able to catch the uh, bus going to Great Neck shortly. And that bus is supposed to be due in Bell Boulevard, Bayside, around 10.52. Yep, here it comes. Here it comes. This bus was supposed to be here at 10.30. 10.30! Unbelievable! Yep, I just caught him. I just caught him on right now. There he goes. There he goes. What time is it now? 10.50, and this bus is now going to be late picking up people on Bell Boulevard. Yeah, Pine Power, you, you're right. You're completely right. This is a disgrace. This is a complete disgrace. And thank goodness, I use common sense. I wanted to get this on tape today. Just to prove a point. Just to prove a point that nice bus, single-handedly, well, second worst is, yeah, second worst. First worst is Suffolk Transit. Oh, here's the ironic thing. DOT just came over here because Casey Steingel just dispatched them to change the schedules. Something fishy is going on with Queens Village. You know, something fishy is really going on over there. I'm going to do a walk and talk uh, back to where I need to go because uh, I have to clock in in about uh, 10 minutes. But, but again, this is my point. Queens Village has no clue what they're doing. Well, today with Nice Bus, I just showed you a good example of, wh of what can happen. Complete chaos. That bus was supposed to be here at 10.30. 10.30! Hang on, I think we got another Nice Bus coming up. Or I saw something orange. If I didn't, I apologize. Maybe it's just my imagination because... Uh, that bright orange color has really bothered me today. You, you know, and I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna because I, I, I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna lose my hours all over this. I'm just not. I'm only out here today to prove the point that this is what happens when you have a private operator run a bus system. The MTA really needs to run nice bus because there'd be more buses on time. Yeah, and here's the ironic thing. Another Q12 just came up. This proves my point. How come Casey Stangle knows what they're doing? Casey Stangle knows what they're doing, but Queens Village doesn't. Maybe this video today will show Queens Village 
what they need to do to improve service because lately they're not putting the customer first and lately Casey 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 Steingel knows how to operate and as far as nice bus is concerned nice bus screw you you need to be run by the MTA and that's my final point point. and John I'm gonna make this point again please rest of the summer keep keep doing what you're doing in Long Island because maybe maybe around here in Auburndale I'll keep doing these N20 videos because uh, honestly I can do these type of videos but uh, Long Island Jewish uh, that's a different story I, I can't do it over there so that concludes this video thank you all for watching